In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the PlayStation Vita emulator, Vita 3K, on Android. The phone I am using is a Samsung Galaxy S24 FE paired with the GameSir G8 Galileo USB-C mobile controller. Okay, let's head on over to Vita3K.org. I will leave the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, go ahead and tap on these three lines, go to download, and we're going to scroll down until we find Android, and then tap on grab from GitHub. Scroll down, and under assets, you will see Vita 3K Android release. Go ahead and tap right here. You may get this pop-up saying this file might be harmful. There is nothing to worry about. Download anyway. When it's finished, tap open and install. Now open the app. Select your language, for me, English. Next. This is just telling you where the app is installed. We're not gonna change anything here. Next. Now we're gonna to need to download our firmware and our font package. And once you tap on both of these, it will take you to the pages that have your downloads. So we can start with the firmware. And this will take you to playstation.com. Go ahead and scroll down until you see download update. Now you will notice by tapping on it, your download will not start. What you wanna do is press and hold on download update and then open in new tab and this will allow you to download the file. I already have it downloaded, but I'm gonna download again. And if it tells you that the file can't be downloaded, just select keep. Now head back over to your emulator and we're gonna download font package. And once you tap on that, your download will automatically start. Now that we have both of those files downloaded, let's go ahead and install firmware file. And under recent files, you should see your two recent downloaded files. Now we will have to upload both of these individually. And we can start with the first file here, which is the font package. Just go ahead and tap on it. Successfully installed. Now let's go back to install firmware file. And this time we're gonna install our actual firmware file, which is this one. Go ahead and tap on it and successfully installed. Next. We're not gonna change anything on our interface. Next. And we are done, okay. Scroll down and you wanna uncheck this box over here so you don't see this anymore and close. Create user. Now you can use whatever username you like, okay. And select that user. Now this is your sleep screen. Go ahead and tap the screen. And we're gonna go up to configuration, settings, go over to GPU. And for your backend renderer, make sure this is on Vulkan to give you the best experience. Mine was already on it by default, but if it's not, you may want to change it over. Down here, you can change your internal resolution. Now, depending on how powerful your phone is, you may experience lag by increasing your resolution. If you do, you just wanna come back here and turn it down. My phone does fine at two times, so I like to bump it up to two times. And everything else here, we're gonna leave at default settings. Scroll down to the bottom and hit save and close. Now let's go up to controls and controllers. Now, as of right now, it's saying no compatible controllers connected. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my controller. Once my controller is connected, it says one controller is connected and it reads that I am using a GameSir GA controller. Now, I do not have to set my buttons up and everything is good to go. Now, since we are gonna be using a controller, let's go back up to controls, overlay, and we're gonna uncheck this right here that says show gamepad overlay in game because we are using a controller, we do not need to see the on-screen buttons. Now, when it comes to PS Vita ROMs, you wanna use your PC to easily get them in the correct format. 
and when searching for your ROMs online, the format you want to look for is VPK slash no NPDRM files. These formats, once extracted, can be playable in Vita 3K. For example, I have three ROMs here that needs to be extracted. So what you want to do is right click on the file and you can use your Windows built in extractor by going to extract all or you can use 7-zip as I prefer to do and I will leave 7-zip in the description. Then you can come down here to show more options, 7-zip and extract here. Now you wanna make sure you extract each one of your ROMs individually because if you do them all together, they will all extract into folders named app. Once you get that folder, you wanna right click on it, go to compress to and zip file. This will give you another app folder, but in a zip format, so we can go ahead and right click on the regular app folder and delete it, as well as our compressed Borderlands 2 file. And then let's rename this zip file to whatever the name of that game was. In this case, Borderlands 2. And now we have a playable ROM. And just to show you guys the format, if you right click on it, go to properties, you can see right here that the type of file is a .zip file, which is playable. Now I'm gonna connect my phone to my PC, which is right here. And on my phone, I'm gonna right click, show more options, and I'm gonna create a new folder. And you can call this folder whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it Vita ROMs. Open that folder. And once you have all of your games extracted, just go ahead and highlight them all and drag them into that folder. Okay, back over on our phone. Now let's load up a game. We can come up to file, install.zip.vpk, select file. Now to get to that folder we created on our phone called Vita ROMs, we're gonna tap right here on these three lines. Scroll down till you see the name of your phone. And we're gonna look for that folder right here, Vita ROMs. Tap on the game you want to load up. That game will start installing. Complete. OK. And then that game will be displayed down here. Now, if you want to add another game, you would just do the same thing. Back up to file, install.zip, select file, select a different game. And as you see, that game will be displayed as well. Now I don't have any DLC files, but if you guys have any DLC, then you wanna extract those the same way you extract your games. And to install them, you just go up to file and you will go back to install.zip.vpk, the same way you did your games. Now to load your game up, you just simply tap on it and then hit start. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.